All right, let's do this, baby. Top five animated movies of all time. I'm Brendan. This is my boy Blake. Hello. Love this man. He's awesome. But before we start, Blake. Oh uh, yes. What are we doing? My super special. Do I need to introduce it first? Introduce to the it, people? baby. Well, what we're doing. Oh my. <laughs> all right. So he's gonna have to. You have a minute, right? Yeah. Okay. Remember, so... guess that movie. You gotta yep. say... Guess that movie. <laughs> you have a minute. You have a minute to guess the movie. Okay. Um, I don't really know. I have my eyes closed. I don't even remember when this came out, so this will be interesting. There you go. Well, you're just. What are you doing? I'm handing it out to you. There. All right, we ready? All right, ready. Wait, do I need to set a timer? Oh, or should we just okay. Have it I won't look at. We'll just have it on there. I forgot I had my mirror thing flipped. I won't look at the. You can at see that, that camera. I'm not gonna look. I, I can't look. even see that. Okay, That's perfect. Weird. Okay, anyway. Uh, three, two. Okay, go. Early 2000s. No. Animated. No. Action. No. Adventure, rom com. No. Uh, mystery. Yes. It is. Mm -hmm. Recent. Yes. Knives out. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> you see how good I am? All right. We'll it doesn't keep... help that it's his movie. <laughs> From hey, his house. If you want, you should have brought your own. Next time, maybe you do that. So when you do it, you bring one from your house. Because okay. you don't know my movies. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And I don't know what you have. That's true. So, so far, me one, Blake zero. <laughs> I knew when I said mystery, I was like, yeah. okay, there's only a few mystery movies that we have. Right. So I was, it was either Nancy Drew. Uh, as soon as you said mystery, I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I guess we'll uh, kind of get to it. That was a quick yeah. little short segment. Thank God. I did that in five seconds. Not trying well, to not, brag. Not really. It was like 20, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> but Blake... Uh, so we're just doing top five anime movies. I will let you start. Oh, I'm with starting. Your number five. Oh my. Okay. I I didn't do these in order very well. I did these like 20 minutes ago. Uh, I'm gonna go with number five, Monsters Inc. Really? Ooh. Okay. That. Oh, dang. Um, did, does that change my top five? Uh oh. Dude, there were so many. Whenever I was looking through. There's a lot like, of there's good a anime lot movies. of really good ones, and I was like, dang, I hate not to say this. Oh, I but. hate to be that guy. I might steal that. Maybe. I just spilled water. Crap. Okay, why is that your top five? Um, I think, honestly, like, most of these would be in my top five. Not because, like, they're that... I mean, obviously, like, a lot of them are really good. Like, yeah. Monsters, Inc. is... It's amazing. A great movie. It's so um, original. Yeah. But oh. really, just, like, the impact that it had on me. I like, know. Like, so many of these movies I watched, I don't know how many times yeah. growing up. Like, we had the little... The little tube TV with a little DVD on yeah. the bottom of it. And we'd put the DVD in there and, yeah. and probably just wear them out. Don't you miss that a little bit? There's an aspect of it that I do. Because, like, obviously with streaming, and mm -hmm. this is off topic, but it's, like, it's easy. Yeah. But it's not nostalgic. It's a lot more accessible. It's I mean, easy, quick. Yeah. But putting in that DVD or the VHS. I mean, going to Blockbuster, going to yes. Blockbuster <laughs> as a kid was actually, like, a lot of fun. Because, I mean, there's there was just that magic of, like... Oh my gosh, like what yeah. are we going to find at Blockbuster yeah. and then what are we going to come home with? Not so much now. Like now I do prefer like the accessibility of having it all on streaming. Yeah. Because like now I'm like, crap, I got to I gotta drive to Blockbuster and get I the know. five, however many movies I want to get. But that's why I love, there's this place we have, Movie Trading Co. Yeah. It's kind of like that. It's yeah. very like kind of grunge, mm -hmm. you know, very dark, but it's got like all old games. <laughs> Wipe the dirt off. Yeah. Of your, <laughs> but it's got. What you're about to buy. Staff is awesome. Yeah. Great movies. Love that. So that's a great one. It actually, because that was a kid, I would, that's a movie I would watch always as a kid. Yeah. So that might change my top five. So my five, uh, I'll go next unless you have anything else you want to uh, say. That's about all I have to say. <laughs> uh, number five for me is Aladdin. Oh, see, I didn't. <sighs> See? See, I know. Yeah. There's so many. I don't know if I put that in my top five, but it's definitely like an honorable mention. Aladdin's dope. It was a great movie. And what I love and what I kind of miss with the newer Disney stuff is like side characters are hilarious. Like yeah. Iago, hysterical. Well, Robin Williams you know as the oh, genie. Yeah. Like, come on. Him as the genie. Yeah. The soundtrack's awesome. Yeah. Jafar is an amazing villain. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I love Aladdin and Jasmine. Yeah. Like they're both, their dynamic is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Great storyline. Uh, I love visually how it looks too. I kind of miss like the vibe of the sort of old school 2D, Disney. Yeah. Even though it is 3D anim animation, but it's more like 2D. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I like that. I miss that because it's very artistic. Remind me to show you a video after this. Okay. Of like um, comparing what sort of the magic of what 
animated movies looked like in the yeah. 90s and the I guess the 80s too but specifically the 90s and the early 2000s versus yeah. sort of what we kind of have now where it's yeah. not really the it's not really the same and it looks way better back then and just the storytelling back then yeah. is better so remind me to remind yeah. me to show you that so yeah I love the storytelling I love the animation style just the way it looks yeah. like how Tarzan you know Beauty and the Beast Tarzan was another honorable mention I know that. there's so many and yeah. that's why I love Prince of Egypt it's that same style mm-hmm. but you can tell it's like I watched behind the scenes. This is random. I'm like Prince of Egypt. I was going to say, I know what his number one is. <laughs> I've talked a lot about it Number one and probably also number two, I think. Um, but uh, I just love because they show like the artists and how it took years. Like they drew everything. And that's why Into the Spider-Verse was cool. Because they also did a lot did of... Did they really do that? They did a lot oh, of wow. just like where they just drew almost like scene by scene. Yeah. You know, where you you would flick, because that's how they do it back yeah. th- in the day. Yeah, I mean, I get why they they switched over to more digital to make it more efficient, stuff like that. But it's there's easier. Just that, just that aspect of, like, care yeah. that goes into the hand-drawn of everything. Dude, it's, a, it's artwork there's come just, to life. There's just something about that that you, you feel in the movie, I yeah. think. Yeah, because I, I like that, too, and that's why and Spider-Verse was cool, because a lot of it is hand-drawn, mm-hmm. from what I know. Maybe not. <laughs> probably was it yeah so but okay but <laughs> just, just not at completely all completely disregard that <laughs> but i just i love that style i kind of miss it um but then i'll go to my four so my four is i had to move it around after you said that i'm like oh i like this movie better it is monsters inc mm. it's just something i watched as a kid mm-hmm. and i was so excited to like when monster university came mm-hmm. out and that was also actually a really fun movie mm-hmm. i like that one a lot but the one reason why i really like monsters inc is just like the creativity of like the monsters in your closet mm-hmm. as a kid. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's funny that the monsters are actually more scared of yeah, the humans right. themselves. <laughs> right. Just funny dynamic. Just a little play that, that sort of subverts yeah. the and I love, expectation. Yeah, and I love too like the energy design. Mm-hmm. Like how they like that's how they get their energy. Mm-hmm. And also just like the door mechanism of it like Yeah. I always said as a kid, I don't think they've even done it yet, is like, why is that not a ride in Disney? You know, like the it's doors, yeah. and you're you, like you could have your legs dangling yeah. or something like that. You know, because I remember as a kid, I'm like, this is that's a great idea, actually. Like, I'm, like I just yeah. thought, like, surely they'd do it because it's awesome. Yeah, the door world where you just see like right. millions of doors, and yeah. then they're just like booking on it, that, like yeah. down it. That would be really cool. So I love that, and also like the story itself. It's very kind of like Waternoose's motive is very dark. Mm-hmm. Like, he's kidnapping children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says that line. He's like, I'll, uh, oh, I'll yeah, kidnap yeah. a thousand children before I let this company die. die. <laughs> Stand in my way. <laughs> Great movie, though. Oh, Stand yeah. Great movie. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you go. That. I'll let you go. Sorry. I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my four. That is hilarious. Monsters Inc.'s my four. Oh, my God. There's just I, fun compl- I monsters, completely forgot about that. And I love Mike. <laughs> Mike Wazowski's hilarious. Yes, Billy he's Crystal. Yeah. He's so funny. Yeah. Because yeah, you remember at the end when they did like bloopers? Yes, and at the end, they did the bloopers. He, and he bloopers. sings and he's got his musical. Ah, that's great. Another thing, I love it when animated movies do bloopers. Yes. Because Toy Story 2 did that. Right. And yeah. I was like, that's so funny. It just brings it to life. It, it really does. It, again, it's that magic sort of feel to it. That yeah. You're like, wow, this is like. I don't know. It's just you can't explain it. Yeah, it's not the same anymore. It's not the same. You know what I'm saying? It really isn't the same. Yeah. But all right, you're four. Okay, my number four is. I'm looking at. I didn't number any of these, so I'm going. Okay, which one is my number four? I know you got to actually think about it. Blake really came prepared on this uh, one. I sure did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Pro- Emperor's New Groove. Really? Line That's of four. Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. Really? Okay. Explain. I. So, um, what's his name? David Spade as uh, Cusco. Cusco. <laughs> he's just the perfect, like, just... He's just an absolute piece of crap. He just really full is. of himself. Just yeah. loves it. Yeah. And David Spade plays that perfectly. Yeah. Just, just his voice. I don't know. It's just great. Yeah. And then, of course, Kronk. Yeah. And then, um, crap, I forgot what is the... Uh, Yzma. You're well, the no, 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 not Yzma. But <laughs> Yzma is also amazing. Yzma is like, pull the lever! <laughs> Pull the lever, Kronk! Wrong lever! I love it when she's a cat and she's like, is that my voice? <laughs> yes. That part's hilarious. But sorry, the other character's name. Um, <laughs> crap, what was the name of the, You're talking the guy about, with the family? Yeah, what? I, what's his name? I don't remember. Pacha or something. <laughs> I, don't know. I forgot his name too. Yeah, I don't remember. But Kronk? Yeah. yeah. Like, Kronk I don't know, hilarious. just... 
there's so many like vivid moments that I remember from that movie where you know he's um he pulls him off he's about to like fall off the cliff and yeah. he like, pulls him off and he's like I snatched you right out of the air <laughs> look at me in my bad self <laughs> he was hilarious I love too like Kronk was so popular Kronk was great they made a TV show off I know I like I remember that as a kid Cusco's poison poison for Cusco <laughs> Oh yeah, the squirrels thing. Uh, yeah, uh, squ- squeak them. No, squeak, squ- uh, squir- squirrely, squir- squicker, squeak them. <laughs> it's just funny stuff yeah. like that. I forgot about that one, honestly. That's another really great. That's a good one. A That's a funny one. one. Anything else with that one before you go to your three? That's what I got. It's got a three, baby. We're Number running three these. is oh, it's the Lion King. Oh, I thought about it, but it's, it's not in my top five. Uh-huh. It's a lot of people's favorite. I mean, it's I, amazing. Yeah, I love it. It's not like it's... I'm not saying it's not amazing. Yeah. It's just more of like, as a kid, what was my... Yeah. They're all good. Especially yeah. Disney in the 90s. Well, and I just love um, James Earl Jones as yeah, Mufasa. of course. Great. Just amazing. <laughs> but yeah, so why is that three? Number three? I think yeah. it's really just... Probably how many times I watched it as a kid. Yeah. That and like the... Um, 1.5 was it 1.5 yeah you're talking Lion King one and a half one and a half yeah, yeah. with uh, one and a half Pumbaa oh my Tom. gosh the amount of times yeah. that I've watched that <laughs> where you you remember in the extras where it's like you're going on like a ride did you ever see that extras this was in the movie no 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 it wasn't in the it was like in the um, like on the DVD main menu where you can go to like extras or whatever and it's like a ride and you go it's like Timon and Pumbaa on a roller coaster is this ride. the first one I don't or know the if, one and a half. I think it's one and a half, might be but it might be half. the first one. Okay. I, it's been a while since I've I'm kind of complaining both of them, but it doesn't really matter. Because we had Lion King on a VHS. Okay. I never had it on a DVD. Okay. So on the DVD, okay. like, you, it, it's such a weird, like, fever dream type thing. <laughs> because, like, it would be you and maybe Timon and Pumbaa, and you'd be going through, like, it's like you're on a ride. Yeah. And you choose left or right. Okay, I well, think I have seen yeah, this. Yeah, like yes. if you go in the left one, it like drops you off a cliff. Well, if you go in the right one, you go like wherever. And yeah. it, was, it was like a Disney World Isn't that so much fun? Right. Oh, dude. Like as a kid? I went through every option that you could possibly go through. Like, like okay, don't go through the left one because the left one's scary. Go through yep. the right one. Yep. You know, like just stuff like that. You know? <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. Like I love how that like little things like that put movies really high for you yeah like you know what i'm saying well i'm sure just like the people that made that too love oh yeah i mean as much effort as it takes to put something like that together as an extra that people may not ever even see yeah on the dvd i know but you put all that love and care into doing that and then later on 20 years down the road you hear some peanut on a youtube (laughs) video that's like oh yeah that 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 guy made is amazing (laughs) You know? Well, it's so cool because there's one too. I forgot what movie it was, but they were like hidden. So they actually weren't like, it had like, you know, play movie, extras, bonus features, options, whatever it mm-hmm. is. But there was ones that were like, if you pressed up on accident, there was like a hidden one. Yeah. Oh, really? So I remember, yeah, that. I remember that. It was like a Veggie Tales, I think, DVD. Oh, okay. And okay. there was one too, I think, with maybe uh, Cinderella Story. <laughs> Another good one. But I love that too because just like, that's so much fun. Because mm-hmm. like as a kid, when you find it, you're like, Yo, You're what like, did oh I just find? Do you remember? You know what I'm saying? Sidetrack. <laughs> I know we're off, totally another, off topic. Another one of those things is uh, in Revenge of the Sith. Did you ever see the Yoda like breakdancing with clone troopers? No. Remind me to show you that. After. <laughs> okay, so that and paint. Okay. Or should we react to it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not um, doing that. Uh, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe. At the I end. tried. We might. All right. I'll go to my three. Uh, my three is Toy Story. The first Toy Story. Oh, okay. And it was actually kind of hard. I'm like, which Toy Story? Because mm-hmm. they're all good. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I wish I could just say Toy Story is just all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they're just all good. But the first one is just because it started it. Like, as a kid, I always had Buzz, Woody. That was, like, my toy as a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, I still have yeah. Woody and Buzz and most of, like, the same toys I played as a kid. Yeah. I still have them. And it's funny because after watching that movie, even as a kid, it's like, I can never get rid of my toys. That's exactly you know what I'm saying. I was, I was like, man, like I look over and I'm like, that toy is sad because I'm not playing with exactly. it. Exactly. That's when you know, like they did their yeah, job. Right. Like they did s- such a compelling way, and that's why like the third one crushes you to the bone. 
Like, I remember watching that, and I was, like, 18, yeah. 17. You know, I'm, like, older. Like, I was mm-hmm. 10 years old mm-hmm. when the first one came out. Eight years old. I don't remember. When was the first when one? When did the first one come? It was in the 90s, It was in the it? 90s. Was it, like, 97? That's, like, when I was born. Yeah, that's what I was It born. might have been 97. Because Toy Story 3 was years yeah, later. Yeah, Toy Story 3 was, like, 10 plus years later. I thought old. it was. I remember watching that. I was 16, 18, something like that. And coming out of the theater, and I was like snap like pe- people were bawling their eyes out i'm like it's toys i know you know what i'm saying so i just love the story i love buzz and woody's dynamic so many funny characters too yeah ham's hilarious mr love potato him. head love mr potato head. <laughs> he's <laughs> such a jerk don, R- don rickles <laughs> but he's so funny like i just love the characters the story and i just love the toys mm-hmm. too like just seeing toys come to life yeah it's funny, this is off topic, but we recently watched Night at the Museum. Oh, love I love that, that movie. Love Night at the I just Museum. love like how it's basically Toy Story, yeah. but museum style. Right. Like, but it's still creative and fun. Right. And I was even thinking about that too. I'm like, do they really make creative, like fun family movies like that anymore? Like they made three of those movies. That's how popular Night at the Museum was. I know. Like I'm trying to think of the last like big family movie that came out. Yeah. Like gonna tell you and it's like always superhero stuff but i'm more talking about like when was the last original family movie came out well how about just something that you come out of it and you're like i feel really good after watching yeah like uplifted you know what i'm saying it was funny you know funny parts good parts emotional parts yeah you know kind of gone a little bit so but i'll go also so to my second uh is peter pan Mm. that's my second okay (laughs) did you think it was my second no, I wouldn't. Have, I don't think I would have guessed you liked Peter Pan, dude. That I, much. I watched this so much. So really? what happened was, I was like, I've seen it before, and then I watched it once. I was like twelve years old, and I was like, Mr. Schmee's hilarious. <laughs> Captain Hook's hilarious. Yeah. Like, and the movie, it's all. It's super short. It's yeah. literally like an hour and ten minutes. Oh jeez, I yeah. didn't know that. Oh yeah, short. most animation stuff back then, super short. Yeah, but it's so funny. It's just so funny. Dude, the alligator freaked me out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Captain Hook is hilarious. Like, yeah. when he's yelling for Smee, when he's <laughs> just getting smacked. I love, there's this scene, Captain Hook's, like, on top of this rock, and he's, like, because Peter Pan's, like, flying around yeah. him, and he grabs the gun from Captain Hook, gives it to Mr. Smee, and he's, like, try your luck. Yeah. And he's, like, sw- like super flying super high, and he's, like, fire him, you fool! <laughs> And then he stands like <laughs> right behind Captain Hook and he's like, try now, Mr. Smee. And he's like, hold it, you fool. Hold it. And he just obviously misses. But it's just so funny. That's so good. And I love too, is like, it's kind of like that Looney Tunes vibe where it's, yeah, people are like, Captain Hook's in the alligator's mouth yeah. somehow pops up. There's this hilarious scene at the very end. He's like in his mouth trying to get out. And then he like sees him coming, the crocodile, and he like, puts his legs to make sure like he doesn't close the oh, choppers yeah. on him yeah. and it sends him like a rubber band and he skips <laughs> yes. across water. Yeah. It's like, ah! <laughs> it's just funny. Like just Stupid. dumb stuff where yeah. it's, as a kid, it's just hilarious. Yeah. And Peter Pan honestly is a jerk. Yeah. Like in that movie, he has this one line like Wendy's talk and he's like, girls talk too much. <laughs> just so funny. Like, are you going to see the new Peter Pan, the uh, live action? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, probably. Not what I expected. Well, also, like... Probably we, won't either. We, we were talking about this last week. It's just, like, when you remake animated to live action, I, I just don't care. Yeah. Like, I'd rather just watch the animated. It's, right. It's good. Right. Why are we making a remake of something just mm-hmm. for it to be live action? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care. Like, just make something new that's live action. Yeah. Because it's more, it's like, okay, it's already been done. I, I wonder what happens. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's just like, okay. Like, if you're going to do an adaptation, but I guess, I don't know. I guess there's a balance to be struck in doing something different yeah. and keeping the same, it, keeping the same kind of uh, themes. Where it's like the same. And they try to do with live action, like where it's kind of different, but yeah. it's really not. So Well, then you get Mul- the new Mulan and it just is horrible. But see, at that point, it's like, why are we naming it Mulan? Right, because it's y- not. It's not Mulan. Yeah. Like, it didn't have Chang. It didn't have, like... The songs that so, so that's not Mulan. Yeah. None of that was Mulan. Mushu wasn't in it too, right? Mm. That's not Mulan. Just call it something different. Have Eddie Murphy come back and do <laughs> He would probably would have done it. Oh, Maybe yeah, he would have done it. Maybe. It's not like Eddie Murphy's working a whole lot these days. <laughs> <laughs> he did not. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you go. So you're gonna do your two and then do your one. My number two. 
I mean, you just told him to say it. Uh, oh man, I don't know what other. I don't know which one to choose. It's not hard. Um. Okay, I'll say. So my number two and my number one are going to be like this. Okay, just remember that. <laughs> so my number two is Shrek. Really love Shrek. So that's that close for number one. Yeah. All right. So why is it two? Why didn't take the cake? Well, and then, so it would be, and, and then really even then it's Shrek 1 and kind of Shrek 2. It's both? Oh, just, you're saying like, I just both of those movies are number two for you? Yes. Or is that, yes. no, like Shrek I 2 is number one? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Both of those are like right here at number two under number one. So he has six movies in this yes. list. Yes. <laughs> um, then again, no, I almost I had all love, the Toy Stories. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I just love. I've got four to- Toy Story <laughs> one and two and three and four and five. Not four. Anyway, sorry. Um, what was I going to say? You're talking about Shrek. The first oh, Shrek. just just the humor in Shrek is yeah, hilarious. It is. Love Lord Farquaad. Yeah. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. And then just um, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I love He's like, so funny. Fiona's great. Yeah. Like and it's, it's a great oh my story. Gosh. One of one of my favorite parts is whenever they get to um I think it's Duloc where Lord Farquaad rolls and they're gonna go and they're yeah. gonna go to the uh and they're like, Where's everybody at? Yeah. And they get to the little thing and it's like the little <laughs> yeah. the little puppets. <laughs> it's been like, forever since I've seen it. Yeah. It's been a long time. They're like uh, the little puppets are like, Duloc is a perfect... Pl-. Well, they go... Um, oh, yes. I do remember that. Yes. They go, cut your grass, clean your shoes, wipe your... And they do their butts up and then they go, face. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's that's hilarious. And it's funny because I didn't ever catch that as a kid. Yeah. But then walk, like watching it back is like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Yeah. It's funny because it's like so funny now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then Shrek 2 even... Even, I don't remember the last time I saw that. We'll have to watch it again. Yeah, we will. Because I honestly don't like, even remember Prince, what happens. Prince Charming is just a complete jerk. <laughs> you know, handsome Shrek and all yeah. that. Oh, it's it's hilarious. <laughs> so that's number two. Yeah. Number, number one. Number two. Number one is Toy Story 2. Really? So Toy Story made the list as well. Yes. That is number one. Toy Story 2 is over number one for me because I think the animation looks a lot cleaner. Yeah. I like the story oh, it of does. it better. Yeah. The first one, they look kind of jank. Yeah. They even look kind of scary sometimes. Yeah. I like the story of it better. I like... Um, in the first one, I don't love, like, as great as Woody and Buzz are against each other. I like yeah. them more... sort Dynamic of Dynamic duo. Yeah, yeah. More together. But, like, in the first one, what's hilarious. Whenever he's like, Buzz, look at an alien! And he's like, where? <laughs> and he goes, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Those are great. They're yeah. hard. Like, they're all so good. It's like, ah, which which one's better? Yeah. It's almost like the day I'm like, how I'm feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The second one, I think, I, I, I've, I've watched it more. I don't know. I just, just the, the story of it, I like mm-hmm. better, I think. But, you know, for me, like we've talked about a lot, I enjoy characters whenever they're further down the road than like in their yeah. first. I and, think that's probably what it is. Entry point's not for you. Yeah. Surprise entry. number three's not number one for you then. Because you always like the end. No, like the end made, art. That one made me sad. I know. So that one's not one that I want to watch a whole, I know. whole lot. It makes you so sad. Yeah. Like, but in, in this one, in this case, I like the, yeah. the second one. Dude, you remember the song like when Jesse tells her backstory? Oh, when don't bring somebody that. Oh, loves no. Me. Dude, oh, no. Dude. Dude. Don't tell me that. Yes, that, like, as a kid, that, like, broke my heart. Same. That's what I'm saying. That's when they like, did it right. All my toys, I'm going, I don't want to. I love also fake Buzz in that movie. Oh, yeah. And he's like, father. When he talks to Zerg. <laughs> <laughs> like, that movie's so good. Tim Allen. Yeah, Tim Allen. He's, Buzz was, it's tough. I love them both. Like, they're both awesome. But, like, Buzz was just, Yeah. I love Buzz so much. Yeah, I love Buzz. Buzz and Woody, obviously, the tops. But yeah. it's like, Buzz is... But yeah, another so, movie where the secondary characters are yeah. hilarious. Bro, Ham again when they're in like yes. the car driving. Ham, yes, Ham. <laughs> I, highly, I highly doubt he's not getting this kind yes. of gas mileage. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> Rex, Rex, Ham, Slinky, uh, Mr. Potato Slinky, Head. Yeah, Mr. Potato Head is hilarious. On the married spot. On the married spot. On the married spot. <laughs> he's so funny. But he's a know, total chump. You like, know who he's? he's you know chump. who he's voiced by? Don Rickles. Oh, dude, I, I have, add that to the list of videos okay, that I've got so to show you. That animation style. I don't remember what the second one was. You were talking uh, about Yoda break dancing. Yoda break dancing. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Okay, so that one's number one. My number one is Prince of Egypt. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> kind of spit a little so, bit. So, number one, uh, this is one movie where it's like, even though it's animated when people are like, oh, it's animated, you mm-hmm. know, like, oh, the mo- like it's just an animated movie. Mm-hmm. The motions can't be there, blah, blah. You know when you hear, hear those people say mm-hmm. that, I'm like, stop. Because Toy Story 3, like, that's one. But, like, right. this movie, especially since it's, like, our faith, but the music... Music is fantastic. Music's fantastic. Honestly, like the the cast, the music, yeah. the, everything about it is like it's amazing. This is great. So yeah. Have you ever saw it before until you watched it with me? No. That's dude. That's that's it's probably chills. why that's probably why it isn't it isn't on my sort of Because as a kid, I watched this yeah. so much. Yeah. And just like seeing what I love too is like when you read the Bible and you see Moses' character, like you obviously knew he was with Egyptians for a long time. Mm-hmm. Well, like, what I love, it's like, it's true. It's like, okay, he was raised by Egyptians. Well, yeah. mm-hmm. So he would totally, like, like love people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he had a family, he had a brother. Mm-hmm. And then, like, he, obviously, when he kills the guy off the, the bridge, you know, he leaves. And because all that he's known is like, okay, I'm not Egyptian. Yeah. This is everything that I've known has been a total lie. Mm-hmm. You know, like I should be one, I should be a slave yeah. and I'm not. Right. And then when God comes, he's like, okay, you have to go. And it's like, well, I know it's my brother. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, that's, it's that's great. when it like really gets you. Cause you're like, but they loved just, each other. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like they, they were brothers mm-hmm. and they loved each other. And then to see him like still love him, but like. You have to change your ways. Yeah. I was, I was completely blown away by the cast of yeah. the movie. Bro, yeah. you had Helen Mirren, yeah. Val Kilmer, uh, what's that guy's I'm name gonna, in Thor? Let me look this yeah, up. Yeah, look it up real quick. We're running out of time because it's almost 30 minutes. Oh my. <laughs> Don't you just love that? <laughs> Our audience is like, thank God it's over. <laughs> okay. Oh, two minutes left. Val oh Kilmer, Ralph, is it fine? Yeah. Sandra Bullock, Bull- yeah. Steve Martin, Martin Short by the power of rock. <laughs> Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah, Jeff Michelle Bellier, Pfeiffer, Hal Marin, and then some of these other ones. Hal Marin's uh, Pharaoh's wife. She's not listed on here. Oh, she, oh, here she is. Here yeah, she is. she's on. Hal Marin, James Avery, the dad from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Really? Yeah. Danny Glover. Yeah. Dude, it's it's packed. That's crazy. But that movie, I just love too. Like you said, the animation's just not the same anymore. Yeah. Seeing that movie, you're just like, so, you could tell like someone drew this. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying like. And I just love to... I kind of miss that animation style. Mm-hmm. Like, I, we've kind of gone away from mm-hmm. it, where it's just like everything's 3D, you know? Like, I love Incredibles, but, like, that look isn't as appealing. I know. I thought oh about that God, as my top Oh, my God, Incredibles. Five, I completely... I should have... Dude, I don't know... Oh, my gosh. I don't know how... It's This is hard. That might have just blown up my list. <laughs> I, anyway. Well, that's all we have. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> what would it replace? Real quick, oh, we got a minute no. left. Oh, what would it replace? I don't know. Because it, it can. It, it totally can. It's an amazing movie. It's great. That's what I'm saying, dude. You have Tarzan, Beauty I don't know. The Beast. We're out of time. I know. We are out of time. We got our shirt for this week. We haven't filmed it do once we? again. I was going to say, oh, we do? <laughs> <laughs> we decided we didn't even draw that hat. Western Star Wars Jedi battle, baby. I want us to have cowboy hats <laughs> slapping. So check that out. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully. Haven't filmed it yet, but we'll see. We'll find out. Alrighty, we're back. Some of you are wondering why I have all these DVDs. Uh, Instead of drawing out a hat, we're mixing movies. Like what we've been doing. We're just doing it from the DVDs. So, Blake's going to pick one. Uh, Before we do, the word of the day is Isaiah 41.13. From the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says, Do not fear, I will help you. So just know that God, Jesus, is for you. Kind of like what we talked about last week. And he's right there protecting you. Producer Aaron. <laughs> Aaron in the background producing. Producer just Aaron and producer Bring Libby. it on. 
But yeah, if you have troubles, just remember God is for you and he's with you. So, we Be just thinking hope... of that while I pick a movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the live studio audience. That's our first laugh. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> all right, Blake. Okay, am I closing my eyes for this? Or? Close your eyes. All right. I will. All right, this is what I'll do because this might be hard for you to pick. I'll kind of just hold it like this. No, I'll let you open just so okay. you get an idea of how to pick it. Okay. So, like, I'll let you grab it. I'll hold it like this. You're gonna and shuffle you're going to. I'm going to shuffle them, but okay. I'll let you pick the DVD and pull it out. Okay. But pick one. Do you want to pick one, see what it is, and then pick another, or just pick them both? Let's, let's do that. But also, Suspense. like, I just feel like whenever we pick this, they're all just going to, like, fall through. <laughs> Let's see. No, I got this. Close your eyes. All right, my eyes are closed. It's hard to shuffle. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah. Bye. Oh. There's the list, darling. Good luck. Oh, good choice. (laughs) So we're gonna combine. We're gonna steal the the Declaration of Independence. (laughs) Okay, this could be fun. This could be really fun. All right, right, I'm gonna shuffle shuffle again. again. (laughs) <laughs> National Treasure with X-Men. <laughs> high School Musical. You did not pick High School Musical. It's in there. Dude. It just I don't know how we're going to do Despicable Me. I feel like that's the hardest one. Well. Here you go. I like it better than... Cheating. I know what this one is. <laughs> <laughs> don't play it safe. What is this? Ooh, I'm nervous picking this one. Oh. Oh, should I? Should I pick this one? I'm not telling you anything. Well, I feel nervous picking it. Just so I'm not keep feeling around, darling. Maybe this one. <laughs> Inception. So National Treasure and Inception. Interesting. Don't know how we're gonna do that. There's actually this cool like we movie s- technique. I, I feel found. like we say that every time. And I know, but we do it somehow. We do it. Not maybe not very well. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them, like the Avatar one, even though that was for fun, I love that one. Yeah, I love that one. Uh, Indiana Born. You can't go wrong. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah. That was a fun one. This one will be fun. <laughs> like, we could have someone, like, chasing the deck. I say too much. Spoilers. I say too much. Spoilers for the video. <laughs> that is for next week's episode. That's for whenever we... <laughs> whenever <laughs> we, we have to film, film like, like... We have to film, like, six things in between <laughs> then and now. But, hey, I'm Brendan signing off. Blake, say your last words. Goodbye. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. But we hope you guys enjoyed this. We hope it just brings some laughter, and we look forward to seeing y'all next week.